now cross zone load balancing this is something i want you to understand um uh, this is already there um, but i just want to uh, let you know what is the effect basically if you have a cross zone load balancing while if uh, you are not having a cross zone load balancing what is the basic uh, difference so with cross zone load balancing each um, load balancer instance distributes evenly across all regions instances all registered instances in all az so for example you have two az's uh, and then you have a multi az uh, deployment of your uh, um, alv uh, then what you do uh, you have say basically uh, okay my animation is not working fine but just i'll try to uh, make you understand this so for example what happens is mm, so now you have this client he is basically uh, distributing the wait a second let me go back and then let me grab the pen okay fine now it's working now this client here okay it's it's basically distributing the load like this 50 50 uh now uh what will happen what uh, the alv itself they it knows that we have a cross zone load balancing enabled so inside the um, availability zone one you have only two instances so inside availability zone two you have eight instances so now you can see even though on the zone level you have uh, 50 percent 50 percent uh, i mean distribution of load but uh, it will take care and it will actually distribute the load to uh, all the ec2 instances across the az so you can see 10% to each, even though I the LB, ALB had given 50% uh, here, but it is only um, forwarding 10% and 10% here. And then in the next availability zone also 10, 10% to all the EC2 instance. So it will uh, kind of uh, load balance this across the zones. Now, uh, what is the difference when you don't have the uh, cross zone load balancing? You can see the difference clearly. Now here, what will happen? In the two instances, 25-25% uh, load will be distributed, while as these eight instances will fairly be um, having low, low, very less amount of load. So yeah, that is just a thing that you need to understand design-wise. I'll just um, erase. Okay, let's uh, move on. Next slide. Um, yeah, cross zone load balancing. Um, classic load balance supports this. Uh, uh, by default, it is uh, disabled. I will show it to you. Uh, and you can uh, enable this. No charges will be apply applicable if you enable the, uh, uh, the cross load balancing in the um, load balancer which is the clb now on the alb it is basically uh always on you cannot disable this and no charge for this but on the nlb it is disabled by default but if you want to enable this uh, it will be uh, charged separately for the inter az data that is uh traveling through the uh, i mean az's az to az clb and i have all the options here now i can see what all things i have configured the name now it has got a uh, dns name by default which i can use to publicly access the application and uh, which in our case will be a web server web server and you can uh, look into all other details like az's so it is deployed as multi az and here you can see the stickiness option which is de disabled by default i will show you the difference then here you can see the sg which is attached to it and uh, also the other attributes and the cross zone load balancing which i said it is enabled by default on the clb and as well as on the uh, on the alb but on the alb you don't have an uh, option to disable it but here you can disable it right 